Hi, this is Coven from Decapitated, and you're watching and listening to Metal Injection. Rob here with Coven from Decapitated. And Coven from Decapitated with Rob here. <laughs> All right, so dude, uh, I heard you are probably one of the most brutal death metal singers because you have bronchitis, and I wouldn't know from your... Pro Performance. I, I I just did this pull the bag. I, I don't care about it. You know, rumors spread very fucking fast. Is it true? Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, I've got. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, I don't know if it's bronchitis. Uh, I must take a look at my prescription shit from hospital. But the fact is, like uh, a week ago, I went to hospital. I've got like uh, 104 degrees for a couple of days. I couldn't. I hardly stood on stage and uh, lost my voice and uh, got a temperature, sweating all the time, shit like that. It was this is the worst thing that could happen on tour for me and uh, for the band, you know? But uh, I'm getting better right now. They gave me some antibiotics and. Uh, Did you get some good drugs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, naked tits from my nurses <laughs> and a lot of oxygen with some coke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to pay for fucking medicines, which killed me almost. It's like, uh, it's, uh, it's unbelievable, but in Europe you got everything for free, and here, man, you have to pay if you don't have insurance. Man, if, if you don't have an insurance, you die or you just, you wait for your death. I don't know, it's a fucking weird country. <laughs> Coven for president. Well, I, I, I guess you can't really run for president. But, uh, <laughs> all right, in all seriousness, uh, you guys just put out organic hallucinations. Which is hallucinosis. Hallucinosis. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Man, am I an idiot? Yeah, maybe you have some hallucinations right now. But. Well, I did when I was listening to your record. It was pretty brutal. But it also might have been the acid that I took. But that's a different story. Anyway, uh, so, I mean... Uh, you got some? No, uh, it's so hard to get in New York, really. No shit. Yeah. Uh, no, is it easy in Poland? What's the drug scene like in Poland? <laughs> uh, we're fond of uh, good quality amphetamine in Poland. <laughs> Yeah, that's big amphetamine a, scene. Yeah, because we got like a, a lot of uh, chemistry, uh, you know, that the students who made and make it by themselves, right. and some of them, you know, years ago became working for mafia, and you know, the best quality in, even in the world, man. Yeah, the next drug is like LSD and marijuana, so popular right now, and then vodka. <laughs> <laughs> well, vodka goes with everything. Yeah. And you recorded vocals on this album, right? You were on this album? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay, so you didn't record vocals on this album, is that no, true? No, no, I didn't. I, I don't know who to record it. I just went to the studio and lost consciousness, wake up in a home. Oh, and you the were record on all those amphetamines, out. right? <laughs> yeah, seriously, yes, I did. It was the uh, first record with uh, Decapitated, what I was doing. Right, and like, uh, were, the, were the songs written for you or did you write all the vocals? Okay, they called me just, I don't know, a couple of weeks before going to the studio. They went and started recording, and, uh, recording session and I came just... Uh, on the second or the third week of recording to record my parts. I was like prepared some, you know, lyrics from my other band, uh, some stuff at home, you know, grabbed all the shit. I didn't knew the music at all. And we sat uh, there in the studio with Vogue and he was, you know, he was like uh, directing me, uh, this is good, let's try this, let's try that. Okay, what do you think about that? How, could, how, how do you like uh, to put the vocals here, you know? We were working together, but mostly thanks to Vogue, you can hear what's going on now. On organic hallucinosis, he helped me a lot, man, because it was like, fuck's sake. When I heard the music, I was like, I'm prepared. I thought I'm gonna continue what uh, Sauron was doing, a brutal, brutal, and you know, all that stuff like on the Negation album was. But uh, they said, no, man, you have to do, you have to be yourself, or let's try something new. And for like four days, I was being uh, like a tested animal, you know, singing, you know, shouting, screaming in new, uh, different tones, you know, styles, you know, shit like that. And uh, finally, they found that uh, what you can now uh, hear on the organic hallucinations is this ty type of vocals, you know. Right, right. Was there like an instant chemistry when you got with the band, or did it take like a few a few weeks or something to like you know really start to fit in and like get each other? You know, it's always hard when you are a new member in a band which is like exists for ten years, and uh, there was no changes in the lineup before, so you know. This chemistry must be sometimes worked out, you know. It's like one year, and I'm still, you know, getting with these guys. You know, I mean, the chemistry, especially the music chemistry. I, I, I knew these guys before, you know, and we get uh, along together very good. Mm, we are like friends, you know, so it's okay. But uh, the music, you know, they have finished uh, academy stuff like that. Have 
a lot of music experience, you know, and I am, I have to, you know, work much more harder, you know, <laughs> not right. like them, you know, but much more harder to get, you know, after them, you know, and right, right, right. with them, you know. So. I mean, like, the response at shows, though, has been, like, have people been into the songs? Are they well, you know, after, familiar with After uh, playing a couple of tours in the States, you got uh, people, you know, becoming your new fans, new fans, you got new fans, you know. And it's very cool, you know. I mean, there's a lot of kids, uh, even, like, very old people. I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but, like, uh, 50, they get, like, families, you know. And we're shocked that coming you know, after the husband and wife and their kids and like everybody wearing t-shirts decapitated t-shirts congratulates us you know oh, you're the best band whoa whoa yeah. shit like that but th that's amazing you know yeah. H having the fans beyond like uh, a lot of kids but also like uh, the mature ones you know whoa right, right. <laughs> so what's next for decapitated uh, are you guys going to be uh, writing at all or perhaps yeah, a new record you know um, you know it's hard to say because uh, the director and the master mind of uh, the band is uh, Vogue uh, I was talking to him and he said like uh, maybe 2007 the beginning we should try to sit uh, relax he was thinking about going uh, to mountains uh, rent a house uh, in a, some you know s snowy parts and you know take his amp and sit there alone you know and just play and compose some stuff uh, but we have also some tour in uh, January but I don't know uh, when it starts exactly but a US tour or European tour? No, no European tour, European tour. And in May uh, I know that we have booked uh, the uh, Australia for five shows so it's gonna be killer man. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, first time in Australia. Cool. cool. You want a kangaroo? Uh, I I'd always wanted one. If you yeah. can bring me one that'd be I'll cool. Just and FedEx it. Okay, FedEx. Okay. Yeah. Give me your address after that. <laughs> All right, let's get to some decapitated on Metal Injection. <laughs> 